More than 20,000 people push themselves beyond their limits. Some determined to conquer 3.1 miles, others tackled 26.2. Uh, my brother, Ryan, this is his third marathon in a year. Yeah, um, moms are always number one fans, <laughs> aren't they? <laughs> Grizzly says go! Grizzly says go! go! Grizzly. Yeah, good good great job. Job. There was some good traffic congestion. I know we got caught in it. Some of the runners did too. And uh, some people actually just left their cars on the road and got out just to make it here on time. What does that say to you? Oh, that this town is really booming. But nothing could keep these athletes away from the 39th annual Detroit Free Press Marathon. The course took runners across the border through Canada and back. The Detroit Windsor Tunnel was shut down for several hours today as the runners took over and Border Patrol agents kept a watchful eye. They ran past several iconic places. Places through Detroit, the Renaissance Center, Cobo Hall, and at the finish line, some say they did it for the challenge. My goal was to get through the tunnel back into the States. I finished a marathon. I'm happy, half marathon. Others were motivated by a cause. Hope Water Project, yeah, we uh, raise money to uh, support the Pocot people in Africa. The people there have to walk, women especially, have to walk close to about 20K a day just to get water. So for me to do this, it's nothing. Everyone we spoke with was just happy they made it to the end. Welcome to the D, baby! Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News. Quite an accomplishment. The man yeah. from the Upper Peninsula took first place in today's marathon. Alan Peterson of Bessemer finished the race in 2 hours, 19 minutes, 20 seconds. And Lumita Korchagina of Markham, Canada was the women's winner. She crossed the finish line in 2 hours, 43 minutes, and 54 seconds. Very impressive. I would say.